And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Yes, he is. The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM95, Big Jokers, and Dan Soder, the two Corys of radio. Goddamn right. I'm definitely the hamster, just power bottoming my way through this career. Throwing into it. Oh, you're an old man. Get in private with me. I'll tell you this. I moved myself to this corner of the of the studio so I could have Deb, Deb a do time. We've got zero deba do time. I know it's one thing. Fucking Alaskan fisherman, it looks like. Yeah, hey, right. deadliest catch. Go get the world's sexiest golfer back in here. <laughs> and I'm talking about Tiger Woods. Are they gone? What is going on? Is their show not happening anymore? Are they on golf hiatus? Maybe oh, she's no. on a tour. Oh, I would hope so. And you know what? If she is, I hope she's doing very well. And I hope her and her husband have winner. problems. So she wants the younger boyfriend. Hmm? What? Could be covering a tour. I know they send her on. Yeah, but where is she covering a tour in winter? I don't know golf. Well, you do know it can't be played in the snow. <laughs> She's probably in Florida. I mean, or I'm not a golf guy either. California or Arizona. Or... I'm not quite sure what a mulligan is. Yeah. I, know, I know the terrain you cannot play golf on. I wonder if Deb has any mulligans in her marriage. Huh? I'll, put her, I'll give her a, a, I'll take a mulligan bang? on her. huh? Mm-hmm. I'll take a drop. I'll take Ben at this point. <laughs> this I'll take Ben. Wow, well, the Hames rubbing off on you, buddy. Dude, I'm telling you, man, if, if this is how it's working with us being the two Corys. Hey, man, if you want to get into those major golf rooms, yeah. you're going to have to fucking bend over. Goes, you're going to have to go hands to ankles for Ben once in a he while. He goes, hey, there's an irons club and a wood club. <laughs> you want to be in the wood club? I go, that sounds like you're just going to fuck me. He's known for being orange, but he puts white all over my butt cheeks. Mm, <laughs> orange and pink. <laughs> like the good Starburst. Stan, show me your moves real quick. Come on, man. Can you just, no, on. I can't. Come on, man. You got him. Wait, no. I have to ask you to ask show your moves. Oh, you're right. I got to go, Jay, j Dog. Yeah. Come on, show your moves. No, man, not tonight, man. Come on. Don't you guys want to see his moves? All right, man. Hang on. Get my shades. Finger point. Finger point. Finger point. Shoulder shrug. Kick it out. Shoulder shrug. Oh, sorry, Jay. I'm too busy doing drugs out of the palm of my hand like a fucking rookie. Dan, you... Nom, 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 nom. Dan, you... I'm making out. Who am I going to go with? Marty or this cute girl? (laughs) Oh, now Doug's an option. Oh, man, look. Danster's just partying with people. I thought Danster wanted to watch me dance. Get out of here. My ghoulish mom with cancer, <laughs> who might be from Russia, doesn't understand what's happening. Soadster. Get out of here. I'm just a hungry, I'm just a hungry power bottom. I tell you, man, after all that fucking movie theater shit that happened to me the other day, so funny that, uh, went home, checked the mail. I tiny screener was waiting there the whole time. <laughs> Could have watched it in my house and avoided a whole fight. Oh, man, I still didn't get my screeners, man. I think whole ordeal. I tell you for the record, uh, very good, very good, very good movie. Yeah, I liked it. All right, it was like I was happy I watched it right after the documentary because like there was a lot of that. Like, oh yeah, they talked about that in the document. You know, like the very specific things, like things she said in interviews, and you realize how much they got. Like they matched it up. That said, I feel like I would have enjoyed the movie even more if I hadn't just watched a documentary about her. Yeah, it can be overkill. It really makes, the movie really makes you feel, uh, bad for her. It makes you feel like maybe she didn't know. Yeah. It sounds like Christine's crying. Your Thank allergies you are whacking the fuck out of you. Are, yeah. No, I don't think so. I think she's just getting emotional. <laughs> she's getting emotional over said, Tanya. She goes, the girl is trying hard. I don't know, yeah. She's trying hard. Yeah, but, she's gonna sneeze. Oh, she goes. She it's knows, hard to be. It's really hard, and women are going through a lot right now. <laughs> woman, woman. woman. <laughs> Christine, Christine uses uh, fucking uh, caveman pronouns. She goes, woman, Wim, Wim. And by the way, someone said to you, just replace the O with an I. Women. I don't, well, I think Sarah McPants said, it, you know, man versus men. I'm like, that's what I'm doing. That's not the right thing. No, that's though. right. You're doing yeah. that, right? Yeah. 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 Women. Women. Woman. She's doing woman. Women. Woman. Women. She's doing woman. 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 <laughs> woman. 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 What are we on right women. now? Are we are we coming off sleeping pills? Like <laughs> women. Woman. Woman. Dan. Roar. Are we both talking like this? You got a fucking dart in your neck. <laughs> you got a fucking dart in your neck, man. You have a fucking dart in your neck, man. You're crazy, man. I like you, buddy. <laughs> Crazy, crazy! You're so good at Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, Marsh and my mellow. Um, let's get back to it. Do we have a guest today? 
Mark Norman. Yeah, Mark Norman. He'll jump. Seven. He'll jump oh, right in. Like a duck to water. I sent him a bunch of our Insta story stuff. I was like, just watch Why are you talking about it? He's in. Yeah. <laughs> ah, these two are a little bit light in the loafs. Yeah, he's going to catch ah, the best. Ah, By the way, can I say he's going to catch, I know for a fact he's going to catch the best part because he's going to get full-grown hamster and fold dog. I don't think there's any chance we get the full grown hamster and fell dog in this movie. Not, not, not today. You, I don't, think, not. you don't think we get to the part where fell dog takes his son to watch hamster play roller hockey? Oh my god, maybe. <laughs> but I don't <laughs> think so. I want to. I believe we have two hours. Well, we have an hour and fifty minutes. I, I really want this to last forever. <laughs> <laughs> you got that clean, right? Sure god did. damn right you did. There's just sometimes where there's sentences out of Jacob's mouth. Where I'm like, out of context, that's going to be a beautiful drop. <laughs> stops the. Room. Oh, if I want to be naughty is is my favorite Jacob drop so far. <laughs> He keeps upping the. He keeps getting better and better. When I want to be naughty. <laughs> I want to be naughty. <laughs> Not great now. I know. I love to go back. What's going to be great is ten years from now, and we revisit that, and you realize it was all about grape nuts. Yeah. And he goes, Ooh. Do you know what I mean? It's funny because they have that. I've. That's one of my favorite. Howard does a cool thing when they take a break sometimes and do these specials about. You know, all just the music of Howard Stern, or all just yeah. the whatever, and they do like, and they did uh, theme episodes about what the drops come from. A That's lot of them. great. And there's a famous Robin one that she goes, four inches is fine," and you just would assume that she was like arguing that, like, yeah, uh, it's like, look, if you have a four inch dick, who can, you know, she's being like polite to a small <laughs> dick person or. Whatever it was, so, but you just assume it was about a dick always. That's how they use it in the context. Yeah. But when it goes back, it was like nothing to do with that. It was like the size of a notebook or something. No, it was the size of her. Uh, it was the her. Uh, what's the thing? Uh, a colon the the self colon cleanse. Tube. Oh, 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 the tube. The colon, yeah, it was the tube she puts in her ass for the enemas. <laughs> yeah, enema tube. The Got enema it. Tube. That's great. Four inches is fine. Yeah, I mean, we definitely need to do a revisit of all the drops because I'm sure. But if I want to be naughty and being about grape nuts will be such a fun thing for someone who starts listening five years from now. Well, I'm wondering when people start listening and they don't know about any of the Roman and Sierra drops because we, you know, like there's like there's like certain drops where you're like I would never know where that comes from, and they're so addicting. The oh, you did. Oh. oh, you did! I mean, the way uh, it just sounds is great. By the way, she's breaking through. Uh, Black not, Lou, I know Black Lou sent us today a, a video you. of her uh, exercising, which thank is fantastic. You. But forget that, Christine. Bring up. Uh, I go on a website every day. I told you my run through of. Oh yeah, she's of in. My, she's on that um, that modeling company's website. No, 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 no. My second, I go to World Star Hip Hop. Is she going to become the most famous person in the world to, and we're going to be enemies of her? Yeah. Then I go to the Nip Slip, which is all the celebrities' tits fell out, <laughs> yeah. blah, blah, blah. Christine, yeah. please bring up the homepage of Nip Slip. Dude, your internet. Hang on. Your internet beat. Like, you know how cops have a Boom. Beat? Look at that. And it's just on the web. Sierra Sky. I would have never heard of her except yes, for this came up here. Net. <laughs> yes, I, bitch. I mean, go down and just look. At, I mean, she is Stunning. magically hot. Stunning. Stunning. What I, happens to her? Cancer at 30 or something? Whoa, something. Jesus. Something rough. No, she'll be fine. She's just one of those girls. She's going to dump Roman and uh, marry a billionaire. Yeah. 1,000%. Good call, yeah. Christine. When yeah. she's on the downswing or, here's, here's or right here? Soon, like, she's she's gonna... like 21, and so she's having fun with this guy. Like She's going to be like a Melania Trump. But why <laughs> she would be why 25 and go with the billionaire? Because why not ride what... that to 30? She's not going to be not hot at 30. She might ride it to 30, but I think she's going to eventually marry very rich. Like a 50-year-old Even billionaire? If she, Hold on, like by a, the way, she'll probably be rich. Yeah, like a 50-year-old billionaire from like Ukraine with like a decent torso. Oh, uh, you know what, though? I was going to say maybe even not. Maybe she'll get like a fucking actual... like. 40 something year old. Oh, like, yeah. like an like, Elon Musk. Like Good morning, Julia. Come on. Oh, I would love if she got him. Good morning, Sierra. Hey, Sierra. That's how I, <laughs> that's how I feel uh, when I look at her. Like, I would be him to her. Whoever Julia is, I feel like I'd be this guy to Sierra. We're like, morning, Sierra. I know you were talking about your boyfriend, Roman, and you said you didn't like his size, jewelry. Well, I want to let you know, these are all jokes that I've written myself. Uh, that right there is an observation I about hope she global warming. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I have this bit, I know, this bit is about my mother and how she raised me. I hope she breaks up with Roman and tells him, she's like, I don't know, I just, I just can't be with a guy, like, how do I put it, I, look at these chair rails, I mean, look at this crown molding. She goes, chair rail, the floors, I mean, the lighting, the, the lighting. These floors, our lighting sucks, 
She goes, you- no one knows how to rewire this whole fucking place. And I'm just sitting here with you doing our eyebrows together. Uh, and then I think... Oh, my her body is... Re- those are those have to be breast implants. I mean, without a doubt. Her... Bri- maybe. Her... Bri- I mean, if they're natural, then God legitimately put his hands on her. <laughs> God was the one that made she was, her. Well, she must get tanned over the palm print of God. <laughs> yeah. God went like this. Let me get in there. Let me see if I still got it. He goes... Perfect. <laughs> Send them out. He goes, these things are going to drop it around 14 and make her life awesome. He's like, he's like make a copy. He goes, break the mold. This one's done. <laughs> he goes, honey, come here. Look at the one I just made. Yowzas. Is that what you want, God? Is that what you want? He goes, yes, I'm God. That's not what real women look like. Um, I think they're going to stay together. I do. Forever? I want not a them chance. to. He will eventually. Listen. No matter what, and this is the they thing. They do seem very in love. Oh and, this, and this is the only thing. Does she have dirty? God. I mean, does, does she, she have dirty sheets? Here's what saves. <laughs> here's what's going to save. This is what makes the world go round right now, Jacob. And, this is and I'm why Dan, I, Dan, you know this. this you is why get I hate so her. locked in the vanilla, Dan. <laughs> but this is why I hate her. Someone had to film her walking across a fucking. That was Roman. I you get so. It. But listen to me, and this is what you both you guys have to know. There's something like it's something like Roman. Already, right now, if they broke up, isn't putting a gun in his mouth. No, you he's understand? going to his boyfriend's because, house to blow him. <laughs> <laughs> he's been fucking her now for a, a year he's, at least. It's the old saying, show me a woman and I'll show you someone who's sick of fucking her. Now, she's un, I mean, she's next level gorgeous. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't even I'll think there's a, but there's a, a thing, level to put her at. She's, but, at a, she's at a level where you're like, men make billions of dollars to get someone like her. Absolutely. Yeah. But here's my thing. Here's the point I want to make. And these are the things you have to keep in mind. This is how you stop from killing yourself most of your life if you're insecure at all. Um, her walking across the... There's a shot. If, if that girl blew you, Jacob, and I mean this. Listen, man. Dan, I think you'll back this up. If that girl blew you and it was a so really bad. toothy... Maybe she like does weird stuff. She tries to put her tongue in your dick hole and stuff. I've had some weird, shitty blowjobs in okay. my life. All right. If she gives you a really shitty blowjob, you're still thinking like, all right, let's, all right, let's, let's switch positions here. You're not just like, whatever you want to do. Yeah, it's like right. once you're in the pocket like yeah. that, people become people. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, Jesus. she's unreal. She's unreal. She's, oh, yeah. But I know what you mean. She it's may like, be the most perfect looking woman I've ever seen. I know what you mean, though. It's one of those things where you're like, oh, my God, just to touch her. And then you get naked with her and she just like is just stiff as a board. And you're First like, thing she may have like a weird loose pussy. She mm-hmm. may have an unbelievable pussy. I mean, do you I, get what I'm saying? She might not like. Like to have like she may have a weird thing where it's like I don't like my pussy just you're, weird shit that you're like it's, it's ah, weird, it's, I'd rather be with a girl that was a little less hot and like is into doing some freakier shit dude you have such a great point when I was a waiter there was this girl that got hired at our restaurant that was from Texas I think you might have been working there Christine when this girl worked there uh, her name was Melissa she was like smoking hot she was from Texas uh, blonde I don't remember her she was like Next level, like, legitimate University of Texas cheerleader hot kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Where you're like, oh, my God. Like, when she started, every male waiter was like, yeah, I'll train her. I'll train her. Like, I didn't even know. I was, <laughs> I was reading the Be Our Guest hand guide just to train her. I was like, okay. That's, 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 that's. I got Melissa. I can train her. I, can, I totally got you. Hey, what's up? I'm Dan. I only work lunches. You know, fucking idiots work dinner. Um I'm talking to her because you know you go you go out, you go out drinking every night with like a wait staff, so of course the fucking vultures are just circling this girl. Of course, but we start talking to her, and I like get on a conversation with her about sex, and I'm like, "This is crazy." I'm talking to that girl about sex, <laughs> and she goes, "Oh my god, you know what really grosses me out?" I'm like, "What?" She's like, "Like sweating during sex," and I'm like, immediately I was like, "Nah." You're good. I, I just know like you sweating. I go. That's that's just part of it. I'm telling you. Because you know, immediately what I thought of mm-hmm. is if I did fuck her, I would be like, oh, just like pulling my sweat off. Like, oh god, I'm a fucking gross monster when I. I also, I'm like, as, like as a girl, has she never come in her life? Like, I don't listen. And if, she was like, I don't. Oh, if you, what video is if you, this? I'm not blocked. If you, <laughs> if you fuck this girl for five days in a row. I promise you the allure of her, and you've heard her talk, you know what I mean? You've heard her interactions in the world. After five days of fucking her, yeah, it's staying with her <laughs> is much more about... <laughs> I have to wait today. After here. five days of fucking, you'll make Christine, her. Christine, you gotta turn it off for a second. I gotta. I'm so it. sorry. She had fucking sand dusted butt cheeks and she was walking. She's perfect. Perfect. Here's what I'm saying. Physically perfect. Physically perfect. Five days after fucking her. Yeah. 
a, 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 a month. A month of fucking her regularly. Regularly. A lot. On the right. You already now know what each other kind of do. And you're, yeah. You're, you, you know. You, you do what you could do with her. So mm-hmm. if she's bad things, she's bad things. If she's good at things, you fuck whatever. Mm-hmm. You're so hoping that she, you. You're hoping she fucks like a four. Right. Looking like that. Now, with that said, after that, oh, it's the relationship is 85%. The what you want to happen when you bring her around me and Jacob and Lewis? I don't want that at all. See what's so funny? No, no, no. no. I'm not talking about the. I'm gonna. I'm not saying we're tits hanging out like that. I'm just saying just showing up. It's nice to show up to the fucking party with a girl and was going like, dude, is that the girl? You're like, wow, she's gorgeous. I'm always talking about. I'm not talking about slutty, sexy. I'm talking about she comes in jeans and a t-shirt, but everyone's just like, holy shit, you're funny. Yeah, what's funny about you saying that is I've always like uh, I'm insecure that when I have a beautiful girlfriend and I walk in a room with her, I'm like, I don't know how it happened either. Me too. I don't know. Oh no, no, no. I'm I'm always like, yes, me too. Me too. Like every time I have a girlfriend, I'm always like, every girlfriend I've had. And I'm serious. There's like a thing where I'm like, because I'm obviously attracted to him, but I'm like, when my when when one of my friends is like, oh Jesus, look at like even you guys at Bonnaroo when you're like, look at Dan, you know, like I was like, uh, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I don't know how I got her. She like, wasn't because she comes downstairs in a bikini, and I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't know. she was hot. Yeah, she, she was hot as shit. I was, <laughs> was that? so miserable. I'm, so sorry. I'm like, you look so perfect in everything. Uh, yeah. It's pretty. She's bananas. A, she was a uh, pretty bananas. She was like. I thought she was very cute facially, but yeah. I, not, uh, we're not, nothing where I was kind of like, Gaga, holy shit. All right. Uh, when she, no, no, she was hot. <laughs> I know. I'm saying, I'm saying, no, no, no but I'm saying what surprised me was, I've never really met her many times before that. Yeah. Seeing her like in like summer, like short shorts, you're like, oh, it's like, whoa, yeah. Yeah. Nice. So it was one of those things where I was like, oh, my God, oh boy, I'm going to lose her at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> I was just imagining some fucking lead singer saying, of a no band more. being like, I knew it was that fucking doughy comedian. Why don't we go on the bus? And she's like, you know what? I was just thinking, <laughs> Are you an Aries? <laughs> but I'm saying a girl like that, like yeah. it does become a lot of it becomes. You're like, see if you would you hang out with this girl if she was like. You know what's funny is the you can argue every, if she, if everything about her besides her body and face, right? Do you say if, if she's a, a a a seven, a six, or a seven? Do you fucking would you stay? It's like or you, like that. The looks are keeping you almost like ninety percent of staying with her will always be about something superficial. Well, it, the reaction of other guys, how you like. It's like oh, it makes me feel good that people are like, wow, Jay's fucking that shit. You know what I mean? Like that's it becomes a lot of that. That's, that's why maybe that's her lost that's quick. What I'm saying. Yeah, that's why so, Roman. They're the same level. Yeah, Roman and Sierra are are look wise on the same level and sure. maybe mentally on the same level where there's kind of like do you like like you know how Christine was making fun of us of doing like fun stuff in they're not looks wise like, on the same level by the way they're not I think right? she's like Jason Momoa like oh, I think she like I think okay. her level yeah. like the kind of level of yeah. beautiful she is is yeah, like yeah, she yeah. should be within a Donnest like, of a man. Yeah, that makes sense like, to me like too. Like Aquaman. Like Aquaman, yeah. exactly. Like Jason, Jason Momoa. Momoa. Yeah, Christine. so Jason Momoa should be like, hey, you're mine. Christine, yeah. you, right. you, you don't find Roman, do you think he's good looking? <laughs> of course. She has to. He's, of course I'm he's I'm, good looking. I'm, not, I'm asking I her opinion. He's girlish. I like, yeah, that's I like I was... my women feminine and my men masculine. I get that. I get no, that. but you really like you don't you can't acknowledge that it's like of course he's like a I, great I, looking guy. He's a great he's a super handsome guy. He is a super, he's handsome, super handsome guy, handsome, but it's funny. He's a pretty boy. Of yeah. course, yeah, yeah, but I think but that's a type of thing he decided to go with. He also could have gotten like jacked probably and grown long hair and did a beard guy. He's like every guy be... I grew up with that was mean to me. So I sure. tried like don't but like him. My point is whatever he decided to go with, he decided to go with like long scruffy look, he's gonna be a very good looking guy. I'm just saying for me, he's very Eyes are piercing. He's beautiful. He's twinkish in like he's like a slight guy. He's like a guy that's kind of like dude. He's what, a punkish kind of attitude and what shit. What the fuck are you talking about? He's been a black belt his whole life. <laughs> his whole so you life. Better watch his goddamn mouth, or else you're about to get kicked in the mouth. But you're right. Yeah, I, when I see mouth, you're about to get kicked in. I, I, I don't think she's with him for as superficial. Other than she thinks he's facially gorgeous, I don't think she's like. I think she'd be if a Jason Momoa esque type mm-hmm. guy. Came into a bar and fucking like this guy mouthed off Roman mouthed off to him. That guy beat the shit out of Roman. I think she doesn't go like that guy's a piece. I think she'd be a little like, Ooh, look at that guy, huh? <laughs> like, I really think she's gonna marry doing. some dude who's like an oligarch from fucking Yugoslavia who's like, would you like to live in castle and go everywhere you want to go? And she's like, oh my god. I the way that oh. it seems she's going and just seeing her pop up more and more, it seems like her career's just kind of starting. Yes, yeah, so mean, I don't see her like slowing down and settling down and having a family. You with couldn't the guy find she's oh, with now. Dude, I would. You love- couldn't find a better person to model anything you want to model from 
jewelry to fucking uh, snow fucking pants. Dude, if you're a hefty garbage bag, just use her. Just put one on her and be like, you want hefty? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. She, like, I don't know how she hasn't been on the cover of Sports Illustrated yet. Like, she's, uh, she's probably on her way. She's probably, yeah. uh, it's, probably it's probably not coming. really a win. Yeah. So can we do an over-under, a bonfire over-under of or a bet of when she's going to leave Roman? Ooh. Because I want to take I think they got a bit 2020. Of a I think they got another year running them. Yeah. I say in the year 2020 she leaves them. Really? How old is she now? She's 21? Actually, 20? I'll back that up to 2019. I think she, this is the last year of Roman and Sierra. I, that's what I was going to say. I think I got another year and I'm tops. When's, oh, my God. She's born no. 1995. If her... Yeah. Oh, I graduated high school. 22. I could have got her then. I could have totally got her then. <laughs> um, just picked up a baby. <laughs> just a high school graduate. And you go, oh, I got a good feeling about this one. Keep her in a cage, brainwash her, set her free at 18, let everybody see what I'm fucking... <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Here you go. I'm just going to feed her wall wall. Hey baby, you're going to have the best titties. <laughs> hey, you like that, don't you? You like that. You're gross. You like that. Oh my god, you see this little area right here? That's going to be a little V shaped thing. It looks so good in, in a two piece. Yeah, you're going to look good yeah. in the two piece. You like the you're going to look good in it. You like the, two fi- you like the fish net? <laughs> you're so silly. You're so silly. I'm going to you I'm going to kiss your booty. I'm going to kiss your booty. Grab <laughs> whatever you want, baby girl. Uh, dude. All right. So let's do the let's do the Roman and Sierra breakup pool. Uh, I got... Uh, Opie did it to me when when my girlfriend moved to L.A. So might as well do it to someone else. Feel on the I, other I, side I'll take 2018. I'll take this year. You'll take this year. I'll take 2019. I mean, besides that, now we're going deep. We're gonna forget. Uh, let's go month, man. Let's go month and year. That's I will go. I'm gonna go pilot season of 2019. I'm going February 2019. Any rationale as to why? I think it's gonna be after the holidays, and that's when people make their splits. They don't gotta deal with family. Okay, so you, they, they make it through. They make it through another holiday. Season. Another holiday season through this hol- next holiday season. And then she, that's when she like starts being in movies as the arm candy, and she meets a bigger celebrity. Oh, I, that's my favorite one. That one is the greatest clip I've ever seen in my life. It's pretty great. Yeah, like she might end up with like a high powered agent. I don't care. Just look at that sun, that fucking sand dusted butt. Look at that shit factory. I mean, good <laughs> God. It is crazy. And I'm not a butt guy. I'm a boob guy. But good Lord. So t- I got February 2019. What do you got, Jay? I'm going to change my... I say in 2018, I'm going to go now to summer, a summer month. Let's say July, August of... 2018? Of 2019. <gasps> You're going to backdate me. I'm going to tell you why. The fact that I said we were told about this by Shane Gill, which is... And you guys looking at Instagram models that I would never pay any attention to. And I see, by the way, Instagram models pop up on those websites a lot of times. Like, oh, you see this girl finally had her titty out or something. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, their, their names kind of come and go. But ever since we've had, like, brought her up on the show, I've seen, like, Christine sent me, like, a bunch of internet that have nothing to do with her. Just like she's looking at bathing suits or something to buy. Mm-hmm. For stuff, and it's like... Jesus Christ, like, Sierra Sky is the model for this company. She's going to be the model for this company. Yeah, and she's, uh, and her name, now to pop up on that nip slip site is pretty hilarious out of nowhere. Isn't it crazy we're blocking? <laughs> it is pretty fucking funny. <laughs> like, it's crazy it's... that a model, like, she's going to be a supermodel, and I feel like such a creep that at one point she goes, I mean, these guys are mean. Well, her mean Instagram's dude. also not private at all, so it's hilarious that you're blocked from a public Instagram. Like, I'm not logged in at all right now. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And you log out and you can look. <laughs> but anyway, I'm saying the summer because as her star, and we said if she is on deck, to be doing so I can give her still this year and next year yeah. to be part of Sports Illustrated. Once she's in that and they're talking about her on like those gossip shows and yeah. blah blah blah, whatever. Once she starts dating like a Ryan Gosling when he breaks up with like his girlfriend. Whatever it is, whatever it is where she's going, <laughs> he's I think he's gonna start He's going to start showing his ass. I think she's going to break up with him, but it's going to be because he's going to start getting when he comes home. It's like, it's like uh, another another fucking party I can't go to. Really, Sierra? You on that? Let me guess. Is Doug taking you again? Your agent? You know what I mean? You're like, yeah. And it's just going to be getting. It really is going to be. She goes. I don't like when you're getting like this. And now she's been hit on by guys who look just that good and have more money 
It all comes back to the episode of Saved by the Bell when Kelly Kapowski started dating the older guy at the Max. She's eventually going to want to. She's eventually going to want to do a thing where it's like, let's take a jet to Cancun right now. And what's going to happen is those things like that right now are probably being paid for her to do, even with Roman. If she wants to take Roman, yeah, I had a joke. But I'm telling you, guys, going to stop. It's going to stop. That's going to dry up on her if she keeps being public with this boyfriend. But I used to, and I, she's going to want those perks. Absolutely. I used to have a joke. Jesus, fuck my world. I did a joke uh, on my H- on my Comedy Central half hour about that. Where I was like, hot girls are like, I want to be on a boat, and then they're on a boat. Like, that's how it works. <laughs> like that's how it works. Like she's just like, I want to go to Cancun right now, and Roman's like. I gotta call California Peach Kitchen and make sure I can get the shit off. <laughs> no, but it really is. Like, my model career is not. I mean, she's already she's pulling in major money. She's definitely said the thing to him. Oh my god! Oh yeah, she she's doesn't need she, to marry a billionaire. She just probably will. She's definitely yeah. said things to him, like you know, like Bernard's gonna uh, fly <laughs> us out to Bernard. the Cayman Islands. <laughs> Bernard's the perfect name. <laughs> it's such like a fucking older guy with money that's trying to break up a y- hot young couple. He was Bernard he's gonna fly us down to the Cayman Islands. He's gonna give us a room in his mansion. And we can stay there for the whole week. He said he's barely gonna be there, and we can go the whole time. And it's like. Bernard again is taking us down, and she's going to be like, he just wants to be nice to like, like she, like she, they're, they're, they're all, they've already had a thing about that. Baby, Who the fuck is Bernard? He's baby, already been a thing. Baby, he's my friend. And he goes, I mean, I thought it was cool when he got his Beats headphones, but I just feel like he's just like he likes you. He just keeps getting him. Th- every time he shows up, he's like, he's like, Bellissima, please step onto the yard. She goes, Hey Roman, I got you this friendship bracelet. He goes, hey, Dope. He goes, hey, hey Roman, it's a wolf's tooth. It's a necklace. <laughs> hey, Dope. thanks Bernard. Bernard, you are awesome. <laughs> you want to watch me go to the bathroom again? He goes, later after I'm done watching Sierra. <laughs> yeah. You know that I invented Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take our first break. We got to know two Corys. Crazy. We'll jump into it when we get back for sure. And everyone, yeah. We got sometimes you get sometimes you get sidetracked with a little Roman Sierra talk. We got stuff. we got blocked. So this is the first time I've seen her pictures in fucking months. I missed her so much. I miss her so much. And uh, Roman, I miss you too. I you miss so I'm sorry. Their love making must be beautiful. I so wonder, beautiful. Oh my god, it is definitely a fucking Enrique, Enrique Iglesias video. Ah uh, yeah yeah yeah. Look at that. We'll be right back, everybody. This is the bonfire. He's got a man bun. Yeah. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Yeah. Oh, we're keeping it 80s. The 80s on 95. Yeah. <laughs> like, is that it's really a new channel? It's the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. I will be for you. I'll be whatever you want me to be. I'll tumble for you. <laughs> Can we play that song next? Sure. Is that 80s? Mm-hmm. You fucking A, we'll play I'll tumble for you. That's great. That would, right. have been my, that would have been my culture club song pick, but if you're calling it out. I'll call it out know. right fucking now, dude. <laughs> uh, we were going to, uh, you know, obviously we're knee deep in uh, Taylor Two Corys, but then we got knee deep in Sierra Sky leaving her boyfriend for a billionaire because it's perfect. <coughs> what? Allergies, huh? Mm, allergies are a motherfucker. Mofo. It's weird. It's almost like they're controlled All right, allergies. Christine, get off the nipslip.com. <laughs> Amber Rose getting into the sexy toy business. <laughs> this is a great website, though. Bare asses. Tosh Oakley. I know her. That's her and the girl that I used to follow. The girl on the right is smoking hot. Devin Brugman. Well, there they are with their bare asses out. Yeah. The nipslip.com. I'll give them a shout. Yeah, but look at the can- uh, look at the boobs on the one on the right. She is unbelievable. Well, they're backwards. You're backwards. Your whole this whole thing is backwards. This whole goddamn show's backwards. Well, let's get to the You're tale of the coys. The whole goddamn thing's backwards. <laughs> Where did we leave off yesterday? Um. Yeah, Christine. We are. Sorry, we just Corey finished got the club booted. scene where he danced. Oh, That's right. Where he did his dance. That's right. We're right about to. They're right about to to sit at the cafe, and he's gonna. They're gonna have a fight about Michael Jackson. Oh, oh yeah. fucking! You know. Mateo really was right. This is Patti LaBelle. This is a 10 on every song. Yeah. Every scene is like, like it, I, you, I can't, almost, can't, you can't bounce around. Well, here's the thing is I know we're like we touching on it and coming back, and I know there's some people that are like, all right, guys, Corey Feldman, but it's I like. I don't think so. I think people have become, every guest we've had in during this. Yeah. Has come in and we've sort of Fat been, Kinnison. We've sort Fat of, Kinnison. We've sort of been to them. Fat Sam. We've almost been to everybody who's come in. Like, hey, we'll switch topics. You know, you're coming on this thing. It's like we're doing this whole thing about the two Corys movie and how this. And it's written by Feldog, and we go through the whole thing, and then they're kind of like, 
yeah, I want in. Like, I know for a fact already our guest coming in today wants in. Yeah. He wants to dive into this, too. So, Well, let's go to the scene. We this have is... some of America's funniest fucking people coming in to keep yeah. talking about this ridiculous film. Well, this. this is after Corey Feldog just got a beach from a playmate. Uh, we didn't get enough time to talk about the Hugh Hefner that Vecchione had a great note. When we watched it, he goes, oh, so Hugh Hefner opens his own door? for Yeah, yeah just, but just that, for them. Just for them. You know, the guy that created Playboy. They told Hugh I was down the driveway. He, made, he threw some poon off of him and ran downstairs to get the door. <laughs> Sarah McPant saying it was cute how Jacob was like, but Roman and Sierra belong together. <laughs> By the yeah. way, we never got your answer. Who do, when do you think they're going to break up, Jacob? Never. Death. No, yeah, Jacob thinks they're in. Are you, are yeah, you in no. I Like I said in the break, I, I need to believe in love. and I, <laughs> These two, I mean, I'm, if you're making me give a breakup date, then it's going to be the longest, like five years. Yeah, you're making it down the road a little bit. Black Lou, what do you think? Oh. Sorry. I got. It. I, I think they're going to be get together forever. You think they're going with the whole thing? Yeah, Roman's Roman's not going to let her go away. They travel together. She's never going to have a chance to meet anybody else. But what about? But he'll get her wait. pregnant. Before Lou he just got. Leave. Lou just got married, so he's got to really make his new yeah. wife feel like <laughs> he's loved forever. He's Marriage like, is a bond, and like, when people give their souls to each other, they belong together for the rest of their lives. One man, one woman, forging ahead. All right, let's move forward. <laughs> I will say that if they break up and she she dates some billionaire, I. Absolutely believe they find each other years later. You really? So they're, they're meant to be. Fuck. I thought you were going to say they if they break up, together. you're going to go get a fucking business loan and tell her you're a billionaire. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm going to go buy a goddamn private jet. He goes, I invest in <laughs> linoleum mostly. Uh, you think they've never been with a baller they, like me before? You think they end up together? Yeah. <laughs> it comes back around. They see each other way uh, yes. years later no. in a bar. Ten years later. He goes, no. Fucking Sierra, Roman. You look good. Just, you look good, too. No. I, uh, how you been? Oh, that's fun. Good job, guys. Too bad Roman dies face down, ass up in some designer's condo yeah, in Miami. Totally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Christine, how far do you think they get? <laughs> Roman's dying on silk sheets. Oh, don't, don't think oh with that. Oh, doubt. you did? Fucking Mark Jacobs and three of his housemates just jacking off on his back. <laughs> End of April, beginning of May 2018. Whoa, that's like three you say months from now. Around the Before corner. The summer. Do you think this year? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, if you're right, you're a dark motherfucker. I'm with Jacob. I believe in love. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. You, barely yeah, do. you don't even believe in a monthly bus pass. <laughs> <laughs> That's very you don't true. even believe in trying to fuck a girl your brother hasn't already fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying for me. I'm saying for them, I believe in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not uh, for yourself? No, I'm, I don't deserve it. This is you giving back to the world? Like, I'm I'm worthless of love. But yeah, It's got to work for somebody. It's not, yeah, but not them, Lou. If it's gotta they, be, it's if gotta they be for us. If don't break up when I said, then they'll it go should forever. be for us, Lou. Yeah, it but should I be for us. Forever. Some dipshits just find each other. Guys, and stay forever. It's their time up there, but down here, it's our time. Goonies. Let's get into oh it. Oh my god, I saw that movie like a thousand times. <laughs> I love Jackson. Can I dance? Oh my god, dance can with I, me. Will you show me how you dance? I'd like to see how you do it more than how I would do it. Please. I think everything I write's gay, but everything you do is super cool. Why do we not play this is song? This true, dude. Or true. He was. <laughs> oh my God! I just referenced Wait, the what? older guy at the Max that dated Kelly Kapowski. That took Kelly Kapowski from Zach. He's Felt Dog's dad in a tale of two Corys. Get the fuck out of here! Oh really, dude? What the fuck? Are you serious? What does that mean, dude? Are you not? I made right, a reference so earlier when we were talking about Roman and Sierra. And I go, yeah, this all comes down to an episode of Saved by the Bell, where, and it wasn't an episode, it was a story arc over a season, where Kelly Kapowski left Zach for an older waiter at the Max. That actor that played the older waiter at the Max in Saved by the Bell played Feld Dog's dad <laughs> in A Tale of Two Corys. How He's crazy is that? Feld Dog's yeah, I, I For a second, I thought you were saying the older guy Kelly Kapowski dated was Corey Feldman's actual father. Oh, no, 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 no. And that's where I got lost. Good from. call, Falcone. She does have a great detective. Jeffrey man. Hunter. Good job, Falcone. You Falcone. solved the case. You're the best gumshoe I have in this town. I don't understand how you're not solving them all. Look That's at so that. Wow. Let's get to the movie. Um, oh, Wait a second. What? I know that's why you came over and showed this. Yeah, Black Lou came up and pulled your screen up immediately. My call screen. You know I'm not allowed to call screens because I'm easily distracted. I just don't know how much information he's going to have, but it may be worth it. What? 
Uh, Joey in San Diego says his friend is the photographer for Sierra Sky's most recent shoot. Okay. Don't you want to know? Like, yeah. But I don't think he wasn't there. Joey, were you there? No, I wasn't there, but this is a good buddy of mine that I follow him on Instagram, and uh, I noticed he had a couple of pictures of uh, Sierra Sky, so I messaged him immediately. And he's um, <clears throat> he's actually on shoot right now, so uh, when I get some get some more information, but, yeah, we might have an inside scoop. I mean, I don't think there's going to be anything, like, salacious that we don't know. She's probably a very nice girl. Oh, She's... man, could we? Is there possible? There's outtake photos, though. No, she has a lot of topless shit. It, it, if anything, this dude will know. I mean, he knows Jackson and all of those dude, dudes in the. That's fantastic. Can you get cell, us? Like, legit. Can, can you somebody get, get us, us, Jackson? Can yeah. you get us? Well, Jackson wants money to come on the show with a uh, big go fuck yourself on oh, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, number two is, could you get us? Could you get him to give her a written apology from <laughs> to us? the bonfire to unblock us on Instagram? Definitely. Uh, we, we have to handwrite it, everybody. I don't know if you guys remember. I don't know if you guys remember. I sent you guys the video of me trying to get Bell Dog. I do absolutely dude, remember that. Yeah. I mean, when he, that's, the one, that's the one where he goes. He goes. I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, dude, it's from my brother. He's in New York. He's in the hospital. Whoa, oh, man. He's like bonfire. I don't want to. <laughs> that yeah. was absolutely great. Yeah. See if if we give a handwritten, and we will each one of us. In the studio, we'll write our own paragraph. Yeah, and we'll give her we'll give her a gift card, and we'll and Jacob will do the legwork to find out what she's into. So it looks like it's a very personalized gift. No, we're gonna give her a Best Buy gift card. That's it. She's okay. getting a Best Buy gift card. <laughs> Twenty bones. Twenty five bones from Best Buy, and a written apology. Will she unblock us? Oh yeah. my gosh! Really. <laughs> I will make sure it gets into her hands. And also, I can. I got a juicy story about uh, Brad off air. Brad that hates us. Yeah, yeah. It's an off air though. So you can't tell us on yeah, air. It's a long. It's a long story. Oh, but yeah. you. But you know Brad. How's it going? How's it going? Yeah, dude. I know. Are I you know Brad? That. That's great. Are you, are you, have you been Brad this whole time? Are you Kaiser Soze? I just say there's a bit of a Fleetwood Mac situation going on with Brad and I. Oh. There's a what? Are you Christy or are you... Fucking the drummer? I'm Stevie Nicks. Stevie are you guys Nicks. all fucking the drummer? That's a good question, Lou. <laughs> are you guys banging a British drummer? Um, <laughs> all right, well we'll, well, we'll we'll hear the story off air, so hold on. We'll have Black Lou put you back on hold as we jump back into A Tale of Two Quarries. Sure. But you thank you it. for your info, and thank you for offering to get Sierra Sky a handwritten apology. Roman can keep us blocked. I'm really uh, bummed yeah. about that. Uh, Amy in Jersey, we could already tell her that we got that information already. The guy who played Kelly Kapowski's dad was, in fact, Feldman's dad in the new movie. Uh, thanks for the call, Amy. Is this Hayden in Fargo? Is this possibly true? Yes. Is this a new thing just broke out today? Mm-hmm. It is. Breaking news. Yes. What? Oh, shit. Hayden, you there? Yeah, I'm there. What's Hello? up, buddy? Uh, how's it going? <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? So, I'm sitting in a park, uh, listening to your radio show, drinking and smoking. Good for you. How you doing? <laughs> That's how you the way doing? to it. Um, so, Court, there's a, someone reported, it's, uh, it's on TMZ. Oh, right now, I know, I know what you're going to talk about, but say it, go ahead and say it. Corey Feldman has been accused of sexual battery by... Touching a woman's buttocks. Yeah, it sounds. Uh, Black who sent it to us, and it, it looks. I read. I read the article too. It looks like a bullshit thing. Bullshit it, claim. It's a bullshit. It's, it's a woman saying that Corey Feldman grabbed her ass, and you're like, lady. If anyone grabs ass, it's her grabbing mine. I was molested by beach. her. I was doing a three hour show. I was tired. Really? Everyone knows you strike Fell Dog when he's tired. Then you can suck my dick or touch my butt. <laughs> I mean, I can't press charges. I mean, look at this apple. What's she gonna do? Not? She put her drink on it first. <laughs> she thought it was a shell. Uh, yeah, it's this is like one of those things where um, we know too much about Feldog. He has a house of runaway women. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, well, in a college, and the college is called Corey's Angels. Uh, <laughs> 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 but I do appreciate. Yeah, no, thanks for calling in because that. I mean, yeah, it could be one of those things where you're like, is he a piece of shit? I mean, he's kind of a piece of shit, but he's a piece of shit in a different way, in a much more egotistical way. Yes, that is for goddamn sure. Um, Thanks for the call, Hayden. Uh, let's jump back in 
And then at the diner scene, this and is the this is this is where right we left the club. Where we left off, I said that Feld Dog was dressed like a stuntman for designing women because he's actually, wearing a blouse. Yes. You're right. This isn't actually right after the club. It's right after the club scene, but this is another day because Corey Haim is dressing more and more like a gas station male prostitute. I mean, every time they see now, Corey Feld Dog mean no Corey Haim. Is now he's got like a, a bandana on, like a tight roll bandana yeah. with a tight uh, denim jacket. And I think he just looks like a cool guy. Oh yeah, no, he's trying probably because to... I'm the hame of our relationship. But he's being dressed by old men who are fucking dorking his butt. Yeah, he goes put on a bandana that way you have something to wipe up my jizz with. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a white one. You don't want to see any funny stains. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, you don't want to get those salt marks. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. <laughs> So you're seeing MJ again next week? Yeah. You're welcome. So he asked me if he's seeing Michael Jackson again. And? And what? What are you doing? Can I come? Um. No. Come on, man. When do I get to meet Mike? Okay, first of all, it's not Mike, okay? Watch. I'll go. Whoa! Oh, wow. Catty! Cat- <laughs> Kathy, this is where it starts getting where... He protects that relationship so much, and I don't recall ever feeling that much public love given back from Michael Jackson ever. <laughs> you think if Michael Jackson was still alive and you're like, hey, do you know Corey Feldman? He goes, um, is that the kid from Kremlin? Although, it feels, like, <laughs> although it, feels like, it feels like me and Kevin Hart. I'm so happy Kev put some, someone told me that in his book that there's like a chapter where it talks about us coming up and yeah. mentions my name finally. I mean... It's the, it felt like the last fifteen years before that as me going like like hey can you ask uh, Kevin next time he comes to town if he would ever do and you're like um first of all his name's Kevin and, <laughs> and, uh, and I don't know no it's kind of just me and his thing we just kind of do our own thing me this, is, this is us at a diner down the street from Sirius and I go seriously when am I going to be able to meet him I'm like I don't know man he's pretty weird about his personal time I mean well let's watch the rest of the scene because then Haim Hamster just straight up is like so you get boofed. And, and he makes a, f- a point to have a scene written in the movie solely to go, no way, man, never. He just has a childlike sense of wonder. Like, he's so angry it's about so it. so great. And then, by the way, Hayne gets like a drunk, catty gay guy. Mm-hmm. Where he goes, what, you don't suck his dick? Well, I will. I'll suck his dick better than ever you could, you dying bitch. Yeah, the way he gets, he should have just roller skated off. <laughs> yeah. he went, Is that all you want? Just a shake and a burger? Watch this shake. <laughs> I need a regular and a chocolate malt. <laughs> Slap it up, fry it. Two green daddies on a ham flapper. <laughs> I need two birds on a bun. <laughs> this chicken's ready to fly. All right. Give me a slap and a chop. <laughs> Throw it down. Slap it up. Bake it on. Slap it a chalk and a cold chocolate. All right. Double it up. Flip it over. Two time it. <laughs> slap, slap. All right. Uh, rewind it a little bit because he, he, you have to watch how he rants up. He goes, what am I going to hang out so I can be like, hey, Mike, you're gay. <laughs> watch. And? And what? What are you doing? Can I come? Um. Probably not. No. Come on, man. When do I get to meet Mike? Okay, first of all, it's not Mike. Okay? All right. Watch. I'll go up to him and I'll be like, hey, Mike, how's it going? And he's going to be all like, hey, Corey. I think we should go to Disneyland stop, and hang stop, out. Stop, stop, Don't do that. Seriously, dude, I can't believe that you're friends with Michael Jackson. <laughs> the thriller. Hee <laughs> hee. Stop, shut up. <laughs> I, I don't know why Corey Haim's being such a cunt about it. Not quite sure why Corey Feldman's so freaked out about it. Yeah, like, I'm always like... He's like, he's going like... It, again, this whole scene, Keep your mouth down. several scenes Keep your mouth in this down. movie are meant to let you know, like, I was good friends with Michael Jackson. He brings it up so much. He, he goes, forces you to bring it up by the way he dances and acts and dresses, and then writes two scenes in a movie, or, or I'm sorry, like three or four scenes in a movie involving Michael Jackson, and his, but the scene is about going, it's like, hey man, look, I don't want to make a big deal about it, okay? Stop, He's like, I, it's like, I don't make it a whole thing. Like, we happen to be friends. It's a, I mean, we happen to be. He's don't good, make it a whole thing. He's a good guy. He's like, I'd walk up to him and be like, hey Mike, hee hee! Like, hey, stop it. Yeah, stop it. Like, it's not a big deal that I know him, okay? It's like just a thing. We just happen to be friends. And then he moonwalks out of the diner. And he goes, bye, everyone. <laughs> Dude, this is so great. Because he... All right. I'm his friend because we get each other. And not a lot of people do. And we get each other? Rewind it a little bit. This is right where Hang goes, oh, so you guys, fuck. I'm the rat. You're friends with Michael Jackson. The thriller. 
Probably because I'm getting turned out on the rag by older producers. <laughs> Why are you acting like this? He goes, sorry, man. I am fucked retarded. Yeah. He goes, you didn't even see me put down this pad, did you? I got a donut. <laughs> you know how big these Jewish dicks are going in this tiny torso? He goes, want to know why they call them the chosen people? They're girthy bunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it's cool. <laughs> I'm getting stretched out by Hollywood B-listers. Yeah. Why am I acting like this? Probably because I'm half full of cum right now. Uh, I you know. I'm probably just still a little weirded out by the fact that your chaperone fucked me while you took a walk. <laughs> probably because you olayed me into a grown man <laughs> blowing the top. <laughs> 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 because you threw the alley from Marty and dunk it in my Duke shoot. Because <laughs> you threw the pants that he stuffed. I don't know. And crammed it. I don't know. Marty for two. Maybe because you Montana to rice to butt raping. Uh. <laughs> goes, oh man, because my butt came in on a rope to that yeah. Marty. He goes, he's got touch. He definitely has touch. Put touch oh, on it. Shit. Uh, yes, and this is where Haim starts getting dark, and of course, Fell Dog takes the high road. Kisses him. It's a jail move. It's not like that. Right. <laughs> just like it's not like that with Doug either. Okay, look. Just because you got all your little friends. So you need to tell me you haven't done one thing with Doug? He works with my dad. Don't compare him to your friends. He's a 20 something else spending all of his time with the teenager. You do the math, bro. You know what's really funny? Not yeah. only in life did it turn out that Corey Haim was a much better actor than Corey Feldman, even though he wrote it, technically, the kid who plays Corey Haim is a way better actor than the kid who plays Corey Feldman. He's unbelievable. He's clearly gay, and I also think he likes girls. He's such a good actor. The way he talks, where he's like, so you're not sleeping with him? Because like, the way he talks about dick, you're almost it's like natural. If I, was just, if I was on set for that, I'd go... You know, your son's gay. You think, he, you think he dangled Dade Lewis the role, and when he went into the bathroom with Marty, and he's like, well, I guess we gotta wait till the yell cut. He goes, no. Pull it do out. It. And he goes, <laughs> pull it out. The guy goes, uh, no, man, you're a kid. What are you talking about? He goes, do it. Pull it out. My name's Corey. Goes, oh, God. He goes, put it in there, or I yell rape. And he goes, what? He goes, I'm very method. <laughs> He goes, I'll see if I can get you Corey for a second. But it's so fun. Uh, you better do it, man. He's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Back to Hamster now. Back, uh, now I'm Hamster. But it really is. I mean, the way the movie is written, he just keeps taking dumps on him. I mean, this scene right here, he's going, what? So you don't get fucked with all the older guys you hang out with? Constantly. He's like, I don't even know what you're talking about, Hamster. I got to go. Oh, I was just skateboarding in the Olympics. He's like, I got to go too, but I got to wait for my butthole to warm up before yeah. I walk out of this goes, chair. I drag my asshole like a snail. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a slinky uh, that it's bridging two steps still. Yeah. Uh, who's the Charlie Brown character who just carries the blanket around? Linus. Linus. <laughs> he just Linuses his butthole because he's been torn up. <laughs> it's old. <laughs> it's old butt. What's that? He goes, oh, this anteater? This is my butthole. Yeah. It was at least. He goes, you have to go before Lucas to see it in my body. <laughs> oh, shit. Do we have to take a break? We have to do the 658. All right. We'll take our first break. I mean, he pretty much leaves. That's the end of the scene. And we come back with... I mean, maybe our guests, yeah. but definitely a whole bunch more Corey and Corey. It's the bonfire. Oh, it's not like that? It's definitely like that. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. I mean, you just say it on the show and then it happens. It's the Culture Club. The magic of Lou, everybody. Lou Witzke. Uh, fucking picking up that classic. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's me, Jacobson. And joining us again on the show, just a fucking, he's a made man in the Bonfire Mafia. I mean, he's been on everything and he's one of our favorite drops, the living drop, Mark Norman. 
Hey, hey, good to be here. He's going to be at the Irvine Improv this Thursday through Sunday, January 14th. Um, his podcast, Tuesdays with Stories, is available on iTunes, and you can follow him at Mark Norm, N-O-R-M, on uh, Twitter. Is yes. that also your Instagram handle? Instagram is Mark Norm and full name. Full name. Some realtor, some cunt got my <laughs> Mark Norm, and I tried to get it from him, and he said it'll be a 1000 And I said, what? Me. Yeah. Oh, what a dick. A 1000 bucks. I know. Does that own your own name? Fuck yeah. that shit. Yep. Uh, uh, we were just off air explaining to Mark kind of... As we have been doing all this week with our guests. Well, I saw Mark Monday and told him about the... So he's a little in the know of what's going on here. Oh, yeah. But just filling him in again that Corey Feldman is the creator of everything you're about to watch is so important. Mm-hmm. Um, where we just left off, where you're joining in, Corey Haim accused Corey Feldman of lying about Michael Jackson fucking him constantly, which is because Corey Feldman wanted to write in two scenes of this movie where he let you know... Not only my big, um, my great friends with Michael Jackson, great and friends. he knows me. No, he recognized me. And the reason they're friends isn't because Michael Jackson's famous; it's because they get each other. Yes, mm. nothing to do with the fame at all. They get each other because they both are fantastic dancers. <laughs> uh, they both dress. They happen to dress the same. Yeah, yeah, one glove, the whole thing. It's just coincidence. Very strange. Uh, kindred spirits. But he, they, he was like sleeping over back in the day, right? Well, he's okay. described it as they grew up together before in real life, which is Whoa. insane. Yeah. Um, but he really wants you to know that Michael Jackson did nothing at all. Mm-hmm. Likely Stockholm. I think it's because he had the best house of all his molesters. Yeah. So he's like, well, he was cool, I guess. He goes, you don't bite the hand that fucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his uncle didn't have a roller coaster. Yeah. He goes, listen, Hamster, maybe if you just pick better dick, you wouldn't be in this position. You'd be, de- you'd make a movie defending your rapist. So, yeah, so what happened now is they got an argument about Michael Jackson, uh, and now Corey ha- Feldman is about to go see his father, who is... Is he already now? Uh... And we just found this out. This is pretty mm-hmm. information. The guy, the actor that plays Corey Feldman's father, is the actor that played the older guy at the Max that took Kelly Kapowski from Zach Moore. The hot guy? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He plays Feldman's dad in this. And wow. one of the molesters is Brad from uh, Adventures in Babysitting and the little brother from... Uh, Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. He... Dishes are done, man. Oh, yeah. That guy plays a molester in this movie. Good yeah. casting. And yeah, you know what? Good. Norm... He fucked Corey Haim noise. You know what? You know what, Norman? I think Norman might get to see shitty Tom Hanks if we can get there. I've been called that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh yeah. You're a, you're a better looking Tom Hanks than the actor that they played. Oh, I'll take it. Played. I auditioned for Forrest Gump in '93. <laughs> Which I did. What, True story. Really? The kid with the oh, legs. To be little. To be little. Uh, the Forrest... little Tom. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. It. Wait, you really Obviously. did? Obviously. Yeah, I really did. It was a big uh, like casting call in a hotel, and I went. The whole thing. Wow. In New Orleans? Yeah. They were, so well, they wanted the Southern fag. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> you know, Chappelle was supposed to be Bubba Blue. Bubba no. Gump? Chappelle was offered the role Bubba of Bubba Gump? Of Bubba. Oh, yeah. Was, was it Bubba Blue? Was that his name? Yeah. They oh, called him Blue. It was Bubba, but my friends yeah. called me Blue. Oh, I didn't know that. Can't yeah. sit here. Yeah. He was, um. When after, he became an actual soldier. You guys took different paths. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> been like, I hooked up with Jenny on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, oh, yeah. That looked, that's terrorists. perfectly into Corey Haim watching Corey Feldman walk away. Run, Corey, run! <laughs> Haim is so much hotter than Feldman. Oh, uh, yeah. And Feldman. Every day of the year. Yeah, but Feldman kicked ass. And twice ass. on Sundays. Uh, he kicked ass in uh, Goonies, though. Mouth. Mouth, Mouth was great. Mouth great. Was great I liked him better as a character in everything they were in. Yeah. I was always the most Corey part. Feldman character fan of the... But but Haim was the better Fucking looking. love Mouth. Love him. I, I said the movie I love them in together that I'm actually like a fan of the movie is Lost Boys. And mm-hmm. the Frog Brothers are like... Way more important to that movie than stupid. Corey Haim's actually the shittiest character. That right. Than the annoying kid who's just whining all the time. Yeah, the Frog Brothers are great. Don't forget the burbs. Uh, we were, yeah, well, that's where shitty Tom Hanks comes into this. So oh. let's get back to the movie, because it jumps right to... Yeah, they're not really good at casting people who look like the person, but enough like them to be like... What a shitty version of that person. Yeah, Wait, well, you didn't like Tom Hanks in that? In the Burbs? No, no, no. no. Oh, those are the best no, Hanks they, years. They re, they re, uh, enact a scene of the Burbs. And the guy they have shit. being Tom Hanks. Is off camera, but he's. Yeah, he's off camera, but you see him, you're like, that's definitely supposed to be Tom Hanks. <laughs> yeah. And then in the credits, it says Tom Hanks. It does? I got it. Uh, what were you going to say, Jacob? So the next big scene is, uh, Corey's parents, Corey Haim's parents breaking up, but I say, 
I'm partial to jumping that and going right to Doug seducing Corey Feldman. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Because mm. real basic, what happens? Corey Haim uh, comes home all fucked up for a change. And, of course, his parents. His parents. Oh, wait, real quick. Can we hear the mom's accent? Can we just oh, hear, yeah. hear, hear a couple things? Because we're tracking her accent, and she keeps changing it throughout the movie. Mm-hmm. So I just want to see what she says real quick. If you could just back it up. Just, like, maybe five seconds. We don't need... Yeah, this fine. That's it. That looks just like Haim. I know. They pretty, nailed it. Yeah, they did a good job with that casting. Mm-hmm. No, sweetheart, of course not. It's just that with everything that's been going on, your father and I, we just... Where is it? It's Swedish. I found out she's Swedish. We'd be better off if we go our own ways. Well, what about me? No, I think the mother is Swedish, but she couldn't... The, the actress is Swedish, but she couldn't okay. kill her accent for this movie. That's what it is, because she's yeah. trying to not have it in this. You hear? Yeah. Him? Your father and I can... Oh, right here. She got into a good school. She doesn't like L.A. anyway. You'll stay with me, and we'll be fine. She doesn't stay with me, and you'll be fine. Peter Forsberg is the greatest hockey forward of all time. I'm sorry. I uh, came out of character. You sound like Esty. Yeah. <laughs> and go, don't wait, forget, wait. please, no cancellation. Play, wait, go back, go back and play, because I want to hear her voice. She, it will be like sentence to sentence. She'll yeah. fuck it up. Yeah. Oh, man, he's great, too. <laughs> oh, John, yeah. Too John Cusack. Mm. You gotta jump way ahead in this conversation. I mean, what am I looking at here? Huh? What is this? Pills, you dork. <laughs> Did you get it from Doug? Did you get it from Tony? No, I just fucked Doug. Uh, God, don't you know the <laughs> I got a different dick no. man than I do a weed man. Doug's my fuck bud. God, Doug and I just bury dicks into each other. I don't make him work for it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. You don't know a damn thing. You don't know a damn thing. Oh! Oh, hold on. Half Swedish mom. What do you have to say about it? (laughs) Suitcases by the door. What's this? We're getting a divorce, Corey. I mean, it really is that she can't do an American accent. It's yeah. really, that's exactly what it is. She, she's in the pocket right there. We're getting a divorce. We're getting a divorce, goes, Corey, and on. peanut butters and jellies. She goes, oh, God damn it. It really is like that family guy joke where they go, Apple you know, those, pies. the yeah, European guys, guys yeah. where they go, oh, you're at the we'll disco tent. And make make out with lady. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's jump to the scene where Fell Dog gets his dick sucked by Doug. Maybe. Dude, Doug's nails. I'll let him blow me. Oh, yeah. If you just saw the hand come in, you'd be like, whatever is all attached to that hand, you can suck this dick. Mm-hmm. And then it's just Doug. Yeah. <laughs> now, who is Doug? So Doug is the guy who's Corey's, Corey's father hired Doug to hang out with Corey and, uh, or excuse me. He's the handler. He's the handler. Is he? For, mm. for the two Corys. Marty, oh, okay. Marty was hired by Fell Dog's dad, or Fell Dog's mom, because she wanted to do coke. And then hired a yes. chaperone for him. Duh. That guy immediately I think I have fucks nerves. Corey Haim. <laughs> Whoa. Immediately. Really? Like, like, Corey well, Feldman's chaperone immediately fucks Corey Like Haim. it's part of the paperwork to get hired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now Doug's watching over them. Uh, and this is what, what Doug does to Corey when Corey's a little zonkered on drugs. Not even sure what's going on. Just so you know, he didn't make any gay decisions. Right. Don't think he made any gay decisions, Mark. Right. As you're coming here thinking, don't think that. Go back a little Corey bit. Corey Feldman doesn't make gay decisions. This stuff just happened to him maybe when he was asleep. Uh-huh. Corey Haim? Walking into it. <laughs> well, let's Spit watch the whole his team. own asshole yeah. on the way to the bathroom. Let's watch the whole <laughs> team because I want it, it, it's so... It's so crazy because he's like, he comes in, he's like, I got your pills. And Corey Feldman's like, cool, whatever. And he's like, can I suck your dick? And he's like, no. But Corey Haim's scenes, he's like, psh, 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 psh. Oh, yeah, I'll go get butt Oh, totally, man. So are want? they gay? Or is this just part of Hollywood life? Well, they're, they're, they're saying, kids. they're saying they're kids. It was part uh, of, Haim's saying it's part of Hollywood life. Felt Dog seems to be understanding it's part of Hollywood life, but doesn't seem to quite be happening to him. Uh huh. Even though his big thing is how much it's happening to him. In this movie that he wrote, he only shows himself having one little instance of something happen with a guy who's like, not my like like they're fucking chicks this guy's age already. Yeah. So yeah. when that guy comes in and he's like, Let me just suck it, like 
No. Yeah, this guy can't ruin your life yeah. right. because he's your handler. Yes. Yeah. This is a, at least Hames fucking for power. Yeah. Oh, no, is he? Yeah. He always fucked his way right in the license to drive, boy. Yeah, Hames doesn't... Yeah. Fuck, Feldman doesn't fuck for power. F Feldman fucks for speed. I mean, <laughs> Feldman literally, even in the movie, it's kind of shown where it's kind of like, well, I'm not getting the... He got the buddy rolling license to drive yeah. because... Hames was fucking. He's not, you know, he's not a guy known for fucking spreading it for these dudes. Merck's mm -hmm. Merc face just texted me and said that Corey Hames' mother is French-Canadian, so that's why that... Not in this she ain't. Oh, yeah, she's that's sweeter. Russian, whatever is coming at her. Yeah, sorry. Andy, that's Eastern Bloc. <laughs> that's real fucking. Oh, no, his. I think his mom is actually that's, French Canadian. Yeah, you're saying Corey Hames' mom is right. French Canadian. She's not pulling that off. No, the actress is pulling off. I just got out of a fucking East, a country that got rock music. <laughs> <a week ago. laughs> All right, this is the scene where he gets. His... They just started wearing jeans last yeah, year. He's got denim. Stop! 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 stop. Oh, such a bore. Sometimes you know that. That's Doug. He's got his pills. And Corey's just tired, man. Yeah. I'm read a magazine. He's like, I'm read a magazine and grabs the equivalent of what Playboy is. Yeah, watch. Hmm. Tough time. Uh, yeah, so he's not gay. Her. He's got Playboy. You know her? Mm hmm. Shit. Everyone's always She's impressed. Hot. Everyone's yeah. always super impressed with him. Yeah. yeah. She was. Yeah, she was. This is post Goonies. Oh, super hot. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah, she was super. This is so. So he's implying you. He's implying you. He fucked these girls in Playboy. He goes. He goes. He goes. She's hot. He goes. Yeah, she was super hot. Like you say, like you fucked her. You right, know what I mean? right. It's like all this bread. Dude, so great. Him being overtired is so great. Here. <laughs> yeah. Going. So exhausted. Uh oh. Hand okay? on the thigh. Oh. He doesn't say no. Come on, man. Just close your eyes. Pretend I'm a girl. Oh, <laughs> that can't be fooled. I've tried that. It doesn't work. Good job. <laughs> would you, by the way, if, if, if your Doug said that to you, would your reaction be like, <laughs> Fucking crazy. I mean, Doug, he goes, Doug, are you asking if you could suck my dick while I think of women? Hey, <laughs> like, is that right. happening right now? Hey, Doug, uh, hey, Doug, me and you have been friends for a couple months now. Are you trying to suck my dick? Listen, I'm a guy who thought it was funny that Joe DeRose is my roommate, put his dick on my shoulder and called my name until I turned and his dick hit my cheek. <laughs> I think that's funny. Very funny. If I was sitting with a guy and he's going, he's like, come on, dude, like, let me fucking suck your dick and like, you think of a girl or something. I'd be like, are you, are you making the worst joke ever, or is right. this like a thing that's happening? I don't understand what's happening. Do you just want to suck my dick? He goes, I want you to pretend I'm a girl. But Corey, but Corey Feldman goes, <laughs> fucking crazy, I'm man. I'm so tired, I can't even shrug this off. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Dude, I'm telling you, man, you want to take down the Feld dog, get him when he's tired. Apparently. <laughs> Haim does it? All the guys do it. You told me Haim does it. Yeah. Way to keep a secret, Dick. All right. Yeah. Look, all the guys. I don't know. Jeez, he's tired. Yeah. <laughs> he's wiped. Holy shit, he is burnt. <laughs> yeah. This... But again, this just shows you the... I bet the girls think you're really cute, huh? Oh, huh? uh, boy. Snap out of it, fellas. <laughs> yeah. Does oh, anything wake different. you up? This is like a melatonin ad. <laughs> well, you know what? I think they're selling you short, man. What? Oh. Selling you short? They're good looking men. Oh, Don't cool. It. You're oh, right. Look at those nails. You're right. You sure are right. Yeah, those are nails. Goddamn right. I'm, I'm oh, tired. I found it. Intense. You know how it's rape if it's two beers? It should be rape if you're that sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> look, watch. This goes right for the buckle. And it's, it's clear molestation music. Did he drug him? I want this music. Can we put this music to happy shit music <laughs> movies? <laughs> Or just some sexy music, like no, Sade. This, this, like, yeah, put sexy music to this. Yeah. This is too easy. And, and Corey wrote this. Feldman. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so he doesn't even know for Look, sure. he just backs it up. And look, look at the way he takes the blowjob. Oh, he's scared. They always say they freeze. Is it Colin Quinn knuckle bite? Yeah, right. 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 This, this, this fucking guy said I'm a bitch. Like, this this right. fucking cock's like he uses his teeth, huh? Yeah, his name's Doug. It should be Shark, huh? Fucking, this fucking guy. His dad. Come on, what's the story, Morning Glory? Chop, chop. It's 11 a.m. Why didn't he live in a mansion? Hey, Isn't he a, a movie star? Hey, nope. His dad's bungalow where they've been smoking <laughs> pot together since he was 13. <laughs> right. Nothing adds up. No. Ever. But also... He's a household name Listen, at this point. He's... A household name, 
it really shows what his ego was done. What Corey Hames like looks being better looking or whatever it is like did to him. Yeah, it, it made him a lunatic because on paper. Felda, I mean, Feldog's been in mega shit. Yes. Before he even met Corey Haim was yeah. already, Goonies. forget everything else, someone reminded me, Friday the 13th Part 2. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's Tommy who fucking kills Jason. Yep. Yes. What a uh, get. Uh, Stand By Me, Gremlins, yes. Goonies. He's murdering it before he they even meet. Before, Sing it, sister. Uh, you mean before the phone call when he has a gun in his mouth in the bathroom? Yeah. That's and Corey Hames like, hey, I was just in Lucas. And he goes, cool. Got boofed. That yeah. sucked. <laughs> so I guess that puts us on the same level. <laughs> and like, But it just shows like his jealousy of him runs so deep. Like he doesn't even... I tell you, he does not realize that he's making a movie that makes his friend... Look like a like a retard getting fucked by anyone who asks and makes himself look like a guy like yeah, this one guy sucked my dick. Well, I don't know, I guess, but whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm also I'm trying to find like when the laws change. I, I maybe it was Macaulay Culkin. Where you couldn't like jack off a half sleeping person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sleep blowjobs? Uh, that, that was in the case of uh, Winston versus the state of California, 1993. Uh, the people versus Ricky Schroeder? They called it the Sleepy Beach. <laughs> That's the old Sleepy Beach verdict. But wasn't it like <laughs> child actors, like their parents were spending all their money and then they'd get be it adults was. and they were bankrupt and right. there was no laws protecting anyone. And I sure, think it was Macaulay yeah. Culkin got yeah. wiped out by his... I, I could be wrong. I'm trying to look it up right now. But mm. this but yeah. was all before that. This is all the 80s. Well, in this movie, no, no, in this, Corey Feldman got, uh, gets emancipated from his parents in the movie. That, that, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of them did. A fucking, what's her name was emancipated at 14 or something? Drew, Drew Barrymore? Really? Like a crazy young age where she, she could just got her own age. place. <laughs> yeah, she was a mess. Yeah, totally. But she Pulled had a couple of good years in there, huh? Pulled Pete, it out. Pete Davidson's out. What do you mean? He got emancipated. <laughs> <laughs> no. That'd be great. Yeah, he goes, at 23, I'll he didn't get emancipated. <laughs> I got emancipated. <laughs> I guess we'll come over. My mom can't tell what to do anymore. My, my mom says, I could, I, now I can sleep on the top bunk if I want to. <laughs> can't tell what to do, Bob. Um, dude, by the we way. We can skip this scene other than to say, this is when the dad comes in and starts, you realize that he's managing Corey Feldman now. Mm -hmm. And he comes in to tell him that, Come on, man, get it together. You got Hollywood Squares later today. Yeah. And Corey Feldman's just doing a lot of like, I just want to hang with you, Dad. Can we just do cool stuff and shoot water guns? Yeah. And he's like, Come on, babe, work. You got to do we Hollywood gotta work, Squares. Baby. He goes, It's eleven a.m. You slept in. You sleep. Which, you're sleeping like Doug. Suck your dick. Which takes us to this scene. Uh, coming up here, which is what I want. Yes. Oh, there's Mike. Oh yeah. Good so, Michael. Go, go to the beginning. Yeah, here it is. Also, what's the boner situation with a with a forced BJ? Yeah, you know right. I, mean? I was thinking about because also the way he bites the blanket mm -hmm. is is Doug just sucking on soft weenie? He's like, Maybe. I got a boner and came quick because I was like, let's just get it over with. <laughs> yeah. I think that was like I was too fucked up. I don't really know. Right. When I don't really know, but I mean, I fell asleep right after. So you do the math. Yeah. <laughs> you know what makes me sleep great? <laughs> Busting a big ass. Load. <laughs> He goes, hey, Doug, <laughs> hey, drop that batch on your way out. I don't know. He's like, I also don't know if I fell out. I don't know if I came. I just know I slept like a champ. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And Stubby Falcone points out, he gets molested by older, gross guys in brown suits and creepy chaperones. Yeah. And even Feldman's guy, like, has womanly, beautiful nails and shit, like a yeah. soft hand. Uh, goes, oh, right. He goes, Corey, I can't believe I'm telling you this, but me, Doug, I'm the dick-sucking champion of Sacramento. <laughs> Doug, I thought I'd put that out. Doug, there. come on, you. Doug, I'm sleepy. Get away from All right, me. dude, just polish me off and let me hit the sack on me. Uh, nom, 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 nom. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like Nikki Six. Here, I'll start you off. Play. There, yeah. go, you go now. Spit on it. Be a good piggy. <laughs> <laughs> Little piggy like to eat, huh? Little oh. piggy likes to sauce. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Ah, boy. <laughs> so this is after his dad tells him he's booked on Hollywood Squares and he doesn't want to go. He goes to Michael Jackson's house. Because he just, you know, goes and hangs at impressed. MJ's. Because he doesn't want to do Hollywood Squares. That's what's going on in his life, super dramatic. Right. His dad's trying to make him do Hollywood Squares, and he doesn't want to do it because that's for wash-ups. Corey Haim, by the way, somewhere while the scene is going on, yeah. is just getting tossed around a room of guys in brown suits. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're wearing them like a mask. I mean, <laughs> He's a human CPAP. Yeah, he really is. 
They're like, oh, we're just banging. Hey, you guys want to come over? We're just ba- tossing around Corey Haim. Where's Feldog? He goes, being a fucking nightmare because he doesn't want to do Hollywood squares at Michael Jackson's house. <laughs> yeah. Such a diva. Such what a, a life diva. going on. Hit it. What's wrong, Corey? You're so talented. <sighs> Sounds crazy. I wouldn't expect you to understand. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Yeah. He's got me going on Hollywood Squares. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, that's not what I wanted to Corey, talk about. <laughs> that's a big mistake. You've got to talk to your father. Shows like that are for people at the end of their careers. You're just getting started. You got to talk to your dad. Uh, Bruce, Bruce Valanche is pissed. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Call him, okay? I'll talk to him myself. You'll talk to him? Yes. I'll talk to him. It's the phone. He goes, okay, because he's going to shit if you call him. You know he doesn't even believe we're friends. I forget forget so much what the outcome of this phone call is until right now, and it makes me so happy that it's happening. (laughs) Let me just go wash my hands while Michael Jackson takes care of my business. (laughs) It is hard looking like a young Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse. (laughs) Oh, he sees that Michael Jackson's a good guy. Yeah, he's got a lunatic wall. Yeah. What is this? Dude, it's crazy. This is Michael Jackson's mirror, and it's just pictures of children, and it says, I cannot give up. Whoa. Things are safe here. Whoa. No need to call your folks. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, your butt's supposed to hurt. Yeah, telling on Michael's stupid. What happens in Neverland stays in Neverland. No. Hold on. He's talking on the phone. I understand. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. What's great is they're painting a picture okay. of the other their phones and going like, fuck you, Michael Jackson. Yeah. My son's doing Hollywood Squares. Hey, thriller. I don't give a shit what you say, you little Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> See, you, you fucking live with a monkey. You couldn't fuck Brooke Shields. Fuck off. Hey, I got an idea for you. Why don't you turn on that Ferris wheel and get stuck at the top? I'm Mr. Feldman. I call the shots. <laughs> Fell dog. Ouch. <laughs> Older fell dog. <laughs> Pack leader. Gone. Alpha dog. <laughs> He's the fell dog. I'm the alpha dog. Hi. I'm Edward. I'm Edward Feldman. <laughs> Michael Jackson couldn't change his father's mind. To not do Hollywood Squares. To squares. not do Hollywood Squares. How about I have him come on tour with me and I just give him a million dollars? So, again... I love it. Falling in line with every piece of this movie, as Mateo Lane said, every scene's coming in at 10. Yeah. Blaring the same thing. He goes, he did Hollywood Squares when he was younger. Probably felt lame when he ended up doing it. But when he got it, I'm sure he was like, sure, I'll just do it. Did it, felt lame, and now, in retrospect, actually wrote in scenes to be like, I didn't even want to do it. Really goes, fuck, even Michael Jackson tried to call my dad and get me out of it, and even he couldn't get it. So I was like, I was a kid, you know, it was the end of, like, nothing I can do, I just had to show up. Yeah. Like, it, right. You know what I mean? Like, everything's like, it wasn't me, that dumb thing. It, I was the awesome part. In my, in my biography, in my lifetime movie, The Biggest Head, uh, there'll, be a, there'll be a scene where I try to get out of MTV2's Guy Court, and I can't. But I'm like, Rah. I didn't want to. I don't know what I'm talking about. Dog. Wait, hey, Josh Homme, can you call my manager yeah. and say I don't want to do this MTV2 my, thing? My dad wants me to do MTV2's Guy Court. <laughs> like, His dad was dead. What is he talking about? He rewrote the movie? <laughs> my dad was... I think your dad died way early in this film. Yeah, I go, no, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> no, no consistency. Yeah. Really. <laughs> Listen, I couldn't do it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Mr. Feldman was too strong willed. It's okay. Listen, look at me. He you really deserve better. He said you could sleep over a night, though, if you want. <laughs> this is so great. That was part of the scene. He goes, You deserve better. Uh, so we can skip. Finally. This isn't a real thing, right? The license to drive auditions? Yeah. This is actually, they kind of show that Corey Haim was a better actor than Corey Feldman in this part. Ooh, the Like, he actually turn. kind of fesses up to it. Yeah, but I think they're trying to say he's going through such a hard time, Feldman. That he, he's not even, yeah. Feld- it, it, by the way, he doesn't just do a better acting job. Feldog's doing it like, uh, blah, 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 I don't know, whatever. But, it's just a just, show, just show it real quick. In my own film. Okay, Corey. Uh, let's pick it up with the highlighted portion on page, uh, 66. I'm not taking the car tonight. Alright, my dad would ground me for life. He would literally chain me in the basement. Don't be ridiculous. Unfortunately, 
The producers had other ideas. Look, I'm not saying that we can't go out tonight. I'm just saying that we can't go out in my father's car. I'm not saying we can't go out tonight. I'm saying we can't go out in my father's car. Do you or do you not want the hottest chick in school to go out with you? <laughs> well, <laughs> my dad thinks I have my license. So what could possibly go wrong? Nice. Yeah. Nailed it. He goes, if you fuck, you are in. <laughs> he goes, that was such a great audition. My dick is raging hard. The guy in the background in the pink blazer is just smelling his own finger. He's like, did I tell you, Bruce? He goes, did I tell you? I had a sample. Did I tell you this kid's got it? He goes, I had a sample in the lobby. Uh, they call him Sleepyhead. Uh, yeah. They go, uh, the bad news is our, uh, our 115 appointment. You have to get tired before you can set it off. <laughs> yeah. He's just all auditions at fucking <laughs> five in the morning. Right? <laughs> Coming sleepy. Like, why why am I in here? <laughs> what are you doing? Why did you say just a shirt, no pants? <laughs> why did you want me to Winnie, Winnie the Pooh this audition? <laughs> Christine, if you think you can go even ten seconds past what fell dog walks in on his father doing so they can have this conversation. Oh, when he's jamming? Oh, yeah. Oh, so man. it's cool dad. Dude, I he's, mean, he's such a Gary. That means a shitty dad. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, me and Dan Sads are both Gary. Oh, nice. <laughs> and they're both the same kind of dude. Dad! Hey! Can I talk to you for a second? Give me a minute, guys. <laughs> oh, <he's laughs> the axe off. Oh, shit, sorry. I was just rocking. Oh, uh, sorry. I left a double neck at home. There's no money in the bank. The hell are you talking about? Oh, my Before money. you answer, tell me what you want the money for. What do you care? It's my money. Blow. You're my responsibility. Blowing dudes. Oh, you're such an adult. Look at you. You think that I'm stupid? Yeah. You think I was born yesterday that I don't know what's going on with you and him? Oh. Huh? Yes. We both know where that money would go. That's oh. right. He's 15. His father's never to... mentioned he knows he has a coke problem. Right. <laughs> also just rubs it in his face. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'd be pretty confident, too, if you just talked to Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. he goes, he goes, you just told him off? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, goes, come on. Most people, how many people in the world can say that? He goes, this is some dad. <laughs> he just chewed out Michael yeah. Jackson. Why don't you mind your fucking business, you half-breed weirdo? <laughs> yeah. Pick hey. a race, MJ. <laughs> hey, Captain Nemo, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Captain EO. EO, damn it. <laughs> Where's your other glove, Beijing? Yeah. Hey, what, are, what general are you an army in? I'll tell you what, get the fuck out of here or I'm going to go nuclear. I'm not going to let some fucking mulatto lady boy tell me how to raise my fucking kid. Shouldn't you be doing someone's nails? Get out of my fucking face. Yeah, hey, see, look over. You, you looking at my kid? The kid's a golden goose. Get the fuck out of my way. He's going on Hollywood Square. Fuck off, MJ. Center Square. I'll have him doing a Tide commercial next week if I fucking feel like it. <laughs> Alpha dog, out. <laughs> you own finances. So we'll talk. Until then, I'm your manager. Let me do my job. Your okay. job? Like you have something else lined up for me. I got you an audition this morning. Mm -hmm. For PBS movie. <laughs> PBS? That's right. And it's a starring role. That doesn't mean shit, Dad. It's still PBS. It's a good opportunity. No, I didn't realize they left shit now, in the Now, if you movie. don't mind, uh -huh. you're not the only Feldman in the entertainment business, all right? I gotta get oh! back to work. Gigi's tonight. <laughs> he goes, hey, and if you'll excuse me, I need to learn my three chords for this evening. <laughs> now, if you'll pardon me, I was in the middle of vocal exercise. This is why Corey does three-hour shows. Because <laughs> my ZZ Top cover band, ZZ Knot, is playing yeah. three hours. I'm opening so for, if you'll excuse me. I'm opening for Great White later. Because, <laughs> <laughs> girl, you know they're crazy about a deadbeat dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Oh. No, we have to take a break. Yeah, you're fired as my manager. Oh! 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 That's big. We gotta get through the scene. Bell dog out. What'd you just say? Because, like, I love you, and it's nice living with you and everything, but you've been a really crappy manager lately. You've made a lot of really bad decisions for my career. Good for oh. you. Good for, yeah. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You're 16. You know everything. I just... I, I need my manager to be professional, okay? I need a dad, man. We don't hang out anymore. Also, like, Doug, like, blows me. It's kind of weird. Come down here. 
Can you disrespect me? It's where he just takes him to another part of the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three <laughs> chairs down. <laughs> Three Get away from my band. I don't need my bandmates hearing this shit. Because I swear to God, the rhythm section hears this. I'm on the out. <laughs> These guys respect me. Don't you sass me in front of my band. He goes, also, that's out of the kitchen door. They're bringing out hot nachos. I don't want to get burnt. <laughs> don't you fucking bother me. He goes, don't you yell at me in front of Santeria, my sublime cover band. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. It's great because he walks off. This is my favorite part. What does his dad do? Absorbs it. And then... From the top. Yeah! yeah! He's going to use it. Yeah! <laughs> Let's use that aggression. Yeah. Uh, Let's look. take a break. He's getting emancipated right now. What are they doing? That's pretty Why simple. are they pointing at us? But, uh, oh, shit. It's how it starts Ooh, every time. He looked angry. This is uh, how it starts. Uh-oh. Is he pointing at me? Show him Black Loop. Point to him. Let him know yeah. Black Lou's here. <laughs> Black Lou! Show him Black Lou. Show him everything's fine in here. Uh, this guy's are scary as fuck. <laughs> Help us out. He's yeah, here. Black Lou. What's up? Just let him know everything's cool. Do that talk. Who is that? Oh, they know their own language. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great if Black Lou goes, I bought you guys 15 minutes. Wrap it up. <laughs> yes, I just want to let you know that you're going to be some machetes in here. <laughs> what happened? I feel like Lou just showed him a gun. <laughs> is there a problem? Oh, yeah, he did the ice, t- the ice yeah. cube, right? Is there a problem? Is there a problem? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, he's coming in. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Uh, handle this, Lou. There's a bonfire. Lou, take off your glasses. You look weaker. <laughs> Are we going to run into the and now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. That's Joe Jackson. That's stepping out. That's some good stepping out right there. We're keeping it all eighties. Oh yeah. We'll be keeping it mad eighties this week. Um, as we're tearing through, we're hanging out with Mark Norman. Uh, Mark Norman's Tuesday with stories available on iTunes. Follow him at Mark Norm. And you he can see him at the. Be- oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, you go. He's going to be at the Irvine Improv in California this Thursday, January 11th mm-hmm. through Saturday, January 14th. That's what I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's all. Okay. You should go check him out. Mark's you fucking hilarious. One of my favorite comics to watch in New York City. Man. One of the best. Uh, and, uh, all right. Big J. is going to be in Vancouver tomorrow night through Saturday at the Comedy Mix. Oh, great room. Great room. Hot uh, chicks. Go get, hot chicks. Cool laughs. Yeah. <laughs> Big J. Comedy. <laughs> dot com. Go get tickets. Hot chicks. Hot laugh. Hot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hot wings. I do love. Uh, oh. I'm a big fan of hotel attached to the place. Yes. It's the best. I'm looking for nowhere to go. Bummer. It's gonna be raining the entire time. But uh-huh. then people will come out. Yeah. yeah. So there's there's nothing, nothing to do. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Mm-hmm. And not crazy. Forties at day. Thirties at night. Which Perfect. Right? It's it Den- could be worse. It's Denver and Seattle if they had a baby. Jesus. Ooh, I um, like that. Dan Soder going to be at Bananas in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, G- wow. January 19th and 20th. Wow. Get your tickets to that and all Dan shows at dansoder.com. Um, let's, we got like 16 minutes. Yeah, this is him getting ready to be emancipated. Do we need to skip this? We can skip this. Skip yeah, it. we can skip this because it, it also settles that, uh, his parents win a settlement of $40,000, have no idea how a court does not award Corey Feldman money. Uh, they don't. They take forty thousand dollars. This is it. This is where they start doing junk. Go ahead of this. Well, right, a little before this is because it, it's just a montage of music. But what happens? How does he deal with being emancipated? Harold. Uh, Haim and him just start going full tilt. Can we junk. see the scene where he where they pull up in the Cadillac and get, and they throw them the ball of fucking heroin? Yeah. That's right, right before this. When they're stepping out. They say cheap. Yeah, yeah. Right <laughs> when they. Decide to go stepping out. Oh, this is them just doing drugs. Nice. And you guys are probably talk about. It. I bet you get Feldman on here. Oh man, I bet he would do it. He hates us. Really? He hates this is the us. best press ever. He hates us. Legit hates us. Right here. Cheap. Yeah, you know how you buy heroin when you just throw a roll of money and then a guy fucking yeah, an old, a, a white guy comes out of the back of a Chinese restaurant. And just throws you a ball of heroin. No, so this is the fucking, burbs thing. Fucking bull Hurley from over the top comes <laughs> yeah. and throws you heroin. That's shitty Hank. Uh, Watch to it. the left of the camera. That's Mr. Weingartner. He thinks the neighbors are up to something. Sinister. Sinister. Right there. Shitty Hank. From the top. Oh, yeah. What, what the hell? He nailed this role. Why is he fucking See, up? Want to take Again, that's my problem with telling this thing. Is like He wants to tell you... He's making a, up a, his a movie things. that was so not important to, in his career because it really wasn't. No one overthinks about him as a Burbs person. Right? Yeah. I completely forgot he was in it until this movie. 
Is that true? Really? Sorry, God. Yeah. He's so good on it. I believe, but here's the thing, but he's not the major part. If he was as much of a problem as in this one scene they just kind of show you he was, he'd be gone. Yes. They would replace, I mean, there's no way he came out this, and also, if you've already done Lost Boys, Bob, and everything, you can't come out and think you're nailing the scene by going, we gotta right. go to the thing, with right. the, what is this not how you act? I don't know what I'm doing. Like, goes, you know how to do it. Like, you know it you're sucks. A good actor. Yeah. Like, what should fine, I do? Yeah. What should I do? He looks at the director like, what? Maybe what, he's what's supposed to be fucked this? up here. Is that what they're saying? I think, yes, I think that's sort of the idea. But I like, see. but I mean, like, it, it's like, if, and I think if he was that much of a problem that he couldn't, na- they go to like take nineteen of the shitty scene they keep shoot, showing. Yeah, they would have yeah. gotten Scott Bayo. Yeah, I mean they would have fired. They would have definitely shot this guy out of there. I'm like, right, yeah, fuck Corey Feldman. Yeah. So this is the scene where uh, Corey Feldman and Carrie Fisher. Yeah. Talk. <laughs> they make her a bitch the whole way. Yeah. From the first in line. Seat. You're in my seat. Oh. You're looking healthy today. Feel good. Yeah. I know you think you're fooling everyone, but you're not. Mmm. Thanks. You're a talented actor, Corey. <laughs> you continue down this road, you're going to throw it all she away. She, she, she totally said that first. That it's, it's great. She goes, you're a talented actor. You should have been Luke Skywalker. She just starts saying shit where you know it wasn't you're true. Great. You have gifts that all of us wish we had, but... <laughs> Corey, you're the, one, you're the one that's supposed to win. You're the one that's supposed to get out. For all of us. And you go, she definitely didn't say this. <laughs> yeah, she's also a huge cokehead and alcoholic. She was in and out of rehab. Yeah, well, well this they, is why they, they keep pointing it out. I was going to say, well, what the fuck you, what do you, who care? What do you, who cares what you say? Yeah. She watch. She does that perfect. For the stories, you're no angel yourself, Princess Leia. Oh! You're right. I used to be you. Oh, okay. Sorry. I jumped the gun. I've got it under control. I, I know you haven't problem. seen what the bottom looks like yet, but I just... And neither did she. That's what I'm saying. It's a weird thing to put in. Like she died of drugs. Yes, she has a one man oh, yeah. show about being a booze bag. I mean, but, she... but but then and then ne- still never stopped. Right. Yeah. Like did it until her death. I mean, mm-hmm. she died with like yeah. That autopsy is fun. Oh, that toxic- oh, yeah. toxicology came back like a party. Yeah. Yeah. Ew! It was a little thing of everything. Right. Corey Haim would have snorted her blood. <laughs> yeah. Haim would have been like, crack her open. Let's get this pinata out of here. <laughs> I want to see what's inside this dome. <laughs> crack her open. Can I? Uh... Can I actually personally thank the director of this movie, Stephen Huffaker, for finally using Carrie Fisher effectively in a movie? Oh! oh. 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 Star Wars critic, take up a toll! We finally found your enemy. Yeah. I mean, ecstasy. Old Princess Leia was still ripping ecstasy. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. yeah she had her serotonin levels pumping. That's great. She's like, oh my god, you know what's crazy? And this is gonna sound weird, but I'm an older lady now, taking a shit on ecstasy. It's yeah. unbelievable. She goes, listen, <laughs> fell dog, you haven't lived until you've shit in front of an entire fire squadron <laughs> on crack cocaine. <laughs> At the Four Seasons. This is for press, for Dream a Little Dog. This is, god damn it. <laughs> what is this? I forgot, this is the fucking, they lay seeds to Corey Feldman and the Angels. Let you know he's going to be going in the music. I'm going to make the transition, I think, to wonderful music. I wonder right. if you can bring up the scene from Rockstar where Mark Wahlberg plays acoustic guitar at the end of it. Can you see if you can find that so we can play this side by side? Because there is an exact same feel <laughs> to when Mark Wahlberg gives up metal and then, you know, in the movie. Oh, yeah, he in the movie Rockstar. Did you ever see Rockstar with Mark I saw Wahlberg? It in the theater. We need to do a companion piece to that. A walk alone. It's so bad. And then he just makes up alternative <laughs> music. So here it is. I watch the boxes and leave single fire. <laughs> yeah. You stood stubborn, cheering all the while. Go back to the Corey Feldman one. He goes, yeah, I told you, I want to play a good song. I want to play a song that I wrote. About robot guys. Oh, God. Oh, Corey Feldman's just in his room. Writing songs. Being a good dude. And then oh, you nailed it. It's yeah. <laughs> exactly same the same field. thing. He goes like this. He goes, it's Ascension Millennium. <laughs> Dude, I would have, I would have two, bought, two, two. I would have bought this for all of my friends if at that scene, if Corey would have been like, hey, here's some real lyrics I wrote. If you went, what's up with the youth? What's up with the youth? I uh, says, what's <laughs> up with the youth? 
Oh, we can't write like <laughs> Why this. Why would they focus on the thing? Too much noise. Yeah. Oh, is That's this what, his room? Uh, well, oh, it's, it's him, and, him and the hamster. It's oh, the hotel nice. they're at. And he's just like, oh my God, we're supposed to be doing a press tour, not having super hot chicks diking out in the middle of the fucking yes. room. Let's back straight. Pull back. Oh, he's got a bowling alley. Oh, he's down the hallway. Oh, I'm seeing that. Corey! Corey! Oh, Jesus, we're just inviting a few of your friends. And then uh, people. their friends, and my other friends. Come on, you know how this stuff goes. So he's already dressed like MJ. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. No, they are not. You want to know why? Because right. we will pick it up before they come. So you can go. This is when they just run away, right? Hey, man, how's it going? What's your next note, Jacob? Oh, God, if we're getting into notes, let me just open up this one by saying... Hauling, uh, like, this is supposed to be there throwing a TV out of the window moment. But instead, it's just fucking, um... They roll a bowling ball over some beer bottles. Yeah. Mm. Um, jealousy about license to drive. Fire me as your manager. Oh, I was saying when he fires his dad, he's like, I fire you as manager. It would have been great if he's like, I fire you as my son. He does. That's what he says. He goes, he goes, yeah, if you, if you fire me as your manager, you're, uh, you fire oh. me as a dad or something like that. Uh, the judge in the emancipation thing looks exactly like Sam Kinison. I think it's the same. <laughs> and then, um, what do you have, Christine? This really jumps to 15 years later now. When oh, Corey's, that- now, now they jump to older actors. Oh, okay. I have a because they were. This is where it really Cord decided <gasps> going the straight and narrow path. I'm cleaning up. No, 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 no. no. We are not getting past him and him getting pulled over. Bless you. That's what because say, the, the pull, reason the pulled over is the big. pulled over is big because he does something that we've broke down in another video. When we watch Donovan McNabb's DUI video, Corey Feldman does the same thing in this, where he goes, "Where are you coming from?" He goes, "Over there." <laughs> watch. Let's go. Out of the car. Let's go. Oh, you got to rewind a little bit. <laughs> he was smoking a joint while he's driving. Yeah, he's a badass. Yeah, he don't fuck around. So much, he's not a pussy. He'll smoke a little weed. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, dude. It looks like a... Oh, that's the... The way this is filmed, go back a little more when Corey Haynes doing all the drugs. It looks almost like a Chuck E. Cheese commercial. The right. Like the way it's... Like this is it. So, all right. Yeah. Quick. Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Birthdays that'll blow your mind. Yeah, actually, it's like, a, it's like shredded wheat. It's like, how if I told you it was frosted shredded wheat? <laughs> That's a, frosted with blow. The new Corey, <laughs> the Corey Haim Wheaties. Uh, takes the bag of Coke, holds it up so you know the cop can see it. Puts it in. This guy's bad at getting rid of drugs. Put him in between your legs, dog. Yeah. You're right. I'm so glad we watched this because immediately I thought, why would you throw the drugs out of your inside pocket right. into the place you're going to have to get your registration uh-huh. out of? How are we doing tonight? Uh, good, sir. How are you doing? He goes, that's a terrible wig. <laughs> <laughs> goes, ma'am, wow. how, ma'am, how do you do? Oh, oh, I thought you were Paula Poundstone. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was hoping you had cancer and that was a wig. <laughs> Hello, Yoko. Please pull yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were an eight, one of those Asian a- women actors who act like men. Yeah. <laughs> where are you heading so late? Hey, Kabuki Theater. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> so, you been drinking at all? Yes. Let's have that registration. Oh, yeah, I, I yes, am sir. profusely sweating, though. <laughs> he goes, oh, I have jacked him on blow. Come on! I mean... So obvious. If that's the reason he got caught for... That was his motion, he told them? Yeah. Right here. Here's the Donovan McNabb part. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you please open up your glove compartment again, please? I, I already uh, gave you my registration. Okay, let's go. Out of the car. Uh, let's go. It's a damn, damn stop sign. I mean, hands on your head. So wait, yeah. what I know we are going to get to here is he gets arrested. He goes, we should get the scene where he tells Corey Haim. That should be the next thing where he tells Corey Haim that, yeah, he's going to go to rehab. And you should come to the Haimster, not very receptive to it. <laughs> Uh, uh, he's in jail. He's watching Michael Jackson. That gets him teary. Yeah, he's always been inspired by Michael Jackson because they're watching Michael Jackson at jail. Damn. <laughs> but uh this is when he says he's going to go away. And then when he comes out of rehab, 
was definitely Great. one of my favorite things in the entire movie. Yeah, man, we can do it together. Mm, All right. No, 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 no. Start a scene. I'm good. Good? How many pills did you take this morning? I told you. It's my back. Your back? Man, that's bullshit. <laughs> Mr. Sober for a week trying to preach to me. Yeah, man, maybe we shouldn't work together anymore. Oh! Ooh-wee. What? Two, two, two. What is that supposed to mean? <sighs> Carrie was right, man. We're out of control. Oh, so now you're taking advice from Princess Leia. That's rich. What do you expect me to do, Feldman? Figure it out. Yeah, Feldman's so mature. Right? Of course. Of course he is. He always could have had it together. He mm-hmm. just fell off a little bit. Hayne was just a pill monster dick sucker. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how far we can go. Oh, so this is him out of rehab. This is the best. New wig, new Corey. Yeah. Fresh out of the hab. Out of the oh, yeah. hab, standing there. One month later. Waiting for Corey Haim to pick for him up. up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do you kill the time when people are waiting to pick you up? Bounce your leg. You sit around, check, check your, your watch. watch. Sit on a pole. Bound, uh, bound over the said pole. Just crazy moves. Just laying yep. up. Oh, this maybe, is great. And then maybe we'll uh, go, boom, pow, dancing it. Yeah. That was my, that made me laugh so hard because every time he dances, he does some kind of a like, <laughs> two fingers out thing. Oh, uh, is that Corey? No, that's uh, him calling him. We all remember this from school, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, we, get all, picked up. we all had a moment where we're like, oh, yeah. You were supposed to pick me up. Guess I'll take a cab. Thanks. Ouch. Pre Uber. Corey. He goes, he's been dead since... By the way, oh it's a month later. Corey oh Haim's wearing the same outfit when Corey <laughs> Haim's mom left. No one realized he's been dead for a month. <laughs> Is this it? The end? No, no, he dies as an adult. Yeah, okay, yeah. I got nervous. Corey Haim. I don't know the Haim story that well. Oh, well, if you want to figure it out the rest of it, we, I mean, this is, should be the part where we break. This is it. Corey Haim. Oh, no. Corey Haim has his uh, first heart attack at the ripe old age of, I think, 16 or 17. Whoa. Pretty good. Uh, never heard anything about him having a heart attack at 17 before this movie, but um, maybe. He's got the 222 two, two necklace on. Remember 222? Two, 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 it's the only thing that saves him. And uh, he pulls through his Russian, Slav- Slavic, <laughs> French... Canadian mom. <laughs> I mean, yeah. we, we have to break this into two parts. We have to break this into the week of young Corey and then the week of older Corey. Oh, God. Well, we have older Corey, but we are just, you know, at least three quarters way through the movie. Okay. So that's the good news. Okay. That's good news. Okay. We're, we're an episode away from being over this. <laughs> we're one, we're one episode away. No. Um, <laughs> Mark Norman, thank you for hanging out with us so you're much, the best. Buddy. Catch hey, him at the thanks. Irvine Improv Thursday. Uh-huh. Tomorrow. You're hitting out tomorrow. Yeah. Thursday through Sunday. And then listen to Tuesdays with Stories, him and Joe List. You can get it on iTunes. Jake, a big fan of it. Oh, thanks, Jake. Big J is going to be in Vancouver at the Comedy Mix tomorrow through Saturday. Go get tickets at BigJComedy.com. And, of course, follow us at The Bonfire, SXM, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Dan Soder going to be at Bananas in Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey, January 19th and 20th. Get tickets for that in all Dan shows at DanSoder.com. Uh, I promise you, tomorrow's Lost Tapes are not about... The two Corys. No, but why would it be? It is a oh. continuing saga of something else you are going to love. Yeah, if you like the last Lost Tapes last week, you're going to love it again tomorrow. So this is the last live show of the I week. It's guarantee. been a fucking great week. <laughs> you got me hooked. I'm intrigued now. It's a great week. Uh, on behalf of the whole gang here, we'll catch you motherfuckers next week. Yeah, bye. Crackle, crackle. Two, two, two. two.